Hi everybody, my name is Conrad and I'm a creator that loves to share innovative ways to solve everyday problems with the community to help you improve your productivity. Today, I'm sharing a short, highly requested video tackling how I create and use advanced views in Notion and my best hacks to manipulate views to save you time and maximize your focus inside your Notion workspace. Let's get right into it. So what are linked views? Well, in a nutshell, views are different ways to filter, sort, and visualize your database contents from any page. If you imagine your original table as a house storing the contents inside, then different views would be different windows on the side of the house enabling to look on in. Each window can also have different tinting or distortion on the glass, changing the way the data looks. The data can look different depending on the different types of views you use. You can choose from tables, lists, boards, gallery, or even calendar views to see your content. Let me show you some of my recommendations on how you could use each different type of view in various situations. So starting off with tables, the pros is that you can have easy data entry and manipulation. Every other example of views that I'm going to show you will involve having you to click in and expand every page if you want to do edits, whereas tables, you can directly do edits by simply clicking on any individual cell. The cons though, however, is that it's not often very visually appealing and you can seem a bit drab, especially when you kind of think about it in terms of a spreadsheet format. Next, let's talk about lists. The pros is that you can display content in a very beautiful manner, but the cons is that you can only show simple data. For example, you can see in a narrow space like this, if I show anything more than just one property, most likely the information will get truncated and it'll get squished and it won't look as nice as right now. For boards, I find them really useful for scheduling, categorization, or even pipeline manipulation, especially when you're trying to do scrum sprints. But the cons is that it often gets chaotic if there's too much content. Here I have an example of you showing your goals. Well, if you have goals in certain categories, for example, mindset goals and finances goals, then this would be a good way for you to separate them, especially if you have many different categories that you're trying to track your goals along. I personally really like the gallery view because it's really robust and I use this in a variety of scenarios. For example, if I want to just showcase a small card representing my daily quest for the day, or maybe even have all my different areas of competence showcased, almost like a folder storing everything to do with each area of competence in my life. So it's a file storage system. And also being able to see all the badges that I'm about to earn in a very meaningful manner, and even be able to see how close I am to earn that next badge. And finally, for the calendar, the pros is that you can easily see all your obligations based on time-based properties, but the cons is that it can get hard to read when you have too much data, which is why I don't really often use this. So Notion has an awesome official guide to the different types of views available. So if you want to brush up on your basic knowledge regarding this, I'll leave the link in the description for you to check out. But otherwise, let's keep going on to learn the advanced ways of how we can use views inside your workspace. So first, let's make sure you can distinguish a view from the original database. Views have this arrow, and original database do not. So you can see that every single database in this page are actually views because it has that arrow right here in the top left corner. Now, the best thing about using different linked views is that you can have different filters on different pages. So for example, if you have a dashboard for managing your week at a time, you might want to see a weekly view of your daily quests so you can see all the historical entries and the information that is meaningful to you. But when you are working on your day to day, you may only want to see today and therefore you can have a filter on just showing today's entries. Let's show you how the filter looks. So let's compare and contrast these filters. Well, this filter will show that wake up time is within the past week. And this filter will show if wake up time is today. So this is just a very basic and simple implementation already showcasing you 
what you can do to have extreme focus inside your workspaces. You can have a dashboard for day-to-day -day manipulation, and then you can have a dashboard for more of your weekly planning. Now, you may also want to sort differently depending on what you're using the linked view for. For example, you might have a master table showing many people's records sorted by some metrics. And there may be situations where you may want to sort by metrics that are personally meaningful to you. So above in this example, we are sorting by who has the highest level. But maybe you want a different view that sorts by who has the most gold. Or maybe you want a different database that sorts by yourself. You want to only see your own information first and then everybody else's. So all these different scenarios are different ways that you can use sort to your advantage to really showcase the information that is meaningful for you up front. So something really cool is that you can also choose to showcase which properties you want to show in your views that matter specifically to you. In both of these examples above, I'm only showing four properties, but the original database has 10 plus, meaning that there's a lot more data that I can showcase if I choose to see it. I can show what experience I need to level up next, or I can see how much gold I've ever earned and spent, or a lot of other information that may make sense for different views depending on how you're going to use this data at this specific moment. So the whole idea of views is being able to easily manipulate your database without having to change the structure of it. You can still make it as complicated as you need to to capture all the data points that you want, but when you do want to manipulate it on a day-by-day -day basis and utilize it to some practical use case, then you can make sure that you're only seeing the information that counts and matters to you. So obviously, building a lot of views takes a lot of time. So within our templates inside core views, you'll actually be able to find all the views that have been pre-built for your convenience. Inside the on deck contains everything that I have to do to achieve my goals, which is reviewed all the time. Inside the dailies, it's anything maintenance related, so it includes my reflections, my daily quests, and is reviewed very frequently. And inside the dashboard are items that I need to look at at least once a day, so it's reviewed in the morning and evenings. I've also included two extra views in your template packages for trainer, which handles everything important in your life from one page, set in your favorite fantasy world, almost like a player HUD, heads up display. You can check out a full video on theming and Notion right here in the top right. We also have a gym leader page where it's a clone of on deck, but with the perspective of a game master. And this relates directly to how we're giving you hacks to save you time. The beauty of using linked views is that you can duplicate a view very easily. So normally, if you copy a link from the original database over to a Notion page, you will not copy over the views, including filters, sorting, and properties that you have built on the original. So you can only duplicate views when copying linked views with Control or Command C. So let me show you how that looks. So if I have, let's say, a table up here, and I'll just have a pretty basic table, let's say this gamification leaderboard. Currently we see that it shows like this. If we just do a control or command C and then we can do a control or command V, we can see that immediately we're duplicating the linked view of this database and not duplicating the database itself. This is really important. You want to have one master source of truth and that is your original database. You don't want that to be duplicated because that means that now you have different copies of the same database in different places. What you really want is different views of the same database. So no matter if you edit your database within your weekly view or your daily view, you're still changing the same source of data. And if you ever want to refer to it again in another page, then it's the same data that you've edited. So you don't have redundant copies of the underlying data. Another really cool hack is being able to drag contents from view to view to add custom properties. So the behavior of filters is that they enforce any contents within the view to have those specific parameters. So for example, if you had a view that specified that the status must be complete, whenever you create a new entry or drag an existing entry into that database, that custom property will be applied automatically. So let me show you what that looks like in practice. So in my on deck, I currently have two different views of tasks. The view above is currently showcasing 
only tasks that are not complete, meaning that anything from backlog we are ready to start or in progress is going to showcase in this list. Now, in the list below, if we check the filter property, we're showcasing anything that status is complete and the closing date is today, meaning the day that I finished this task is today. So if I ever say, well, this example task ABC, which was supposed to be finished today, has been finished, what we could do is just drag from the top down to the bottom, and then immediately we can see that it's checkmarked, it's finished on time, it's complete, and the closing date is today. So you can see that because you use filters to force these parameters onto anything that's created or dragged into this view, it's actually very easy for you to manipulate lots of data at the same time. And of course, if you just want to enter a new entry into any of these, so for example, if I enter a new entry into this top view, I press new, this will automatically give me the type of a task and status of not complete. And my final hack for today is mobile readability. If you open a linked view as a page and favorite that linked view, you'll be able to see that linked view in isolation inside your sidebar. This is extremely useful when you're using your mobile and want to access specific databases within your comprehensive dashboards quickly. Because when you have a lot of databases within a dashboard, oftentimes it can get hard to scroll through on your phone or might even lag. So this hack is extremely useful to tackle those cases and let me show you what that means. So for example, if I scroll up here and I bring out, let's say my daily quest, but I only wanna see my day-to-day -day list. So I'm gonna click this button here, this little arrow that says open this page. I click on it. This isolates this specific view. So I'm not actually opening the original database, but I'm opening the view. Remember, you can see that and observe with this arrow here. And what I do is I favorite this, and now it's gonna show up on my sidebar. You can see my daily quest here. And if I click on it, then I'm brought back to this page where it's very easy for me to manipulate only today for my daily quest. So when I'm on the go on my phone, trying to add in specific information to one specific database, all I need to do is click that link and I'll be brought to this page. You can also see some other useful examples that I personally use for my success plan, for my residence calendar, for even my finance management, where I like to put those linked database very easily found in my sidebar. When I do use Notion on my phone, it's really easy for me to navigate to these databases and manipulate only specific chunks of it. Things that are happening today, things that are happening this week, or surface information that I just need to see at that particular moment. For example, my grocery list, I only wanna see what I need to buy today. So hopefully this video is useful to you and you learned something new. If you did enjoy it, please give me a like and let me know in the comments. If you have any more tips and tricks on using views that you'd like to share with the community, please post it down below. Don't forget to subscribe so you can join us for office hours on Fridays where you can learn all about our latest innovations and build together with me live. And do keep an eye out for new videos on productivity, growth and learning every Saturday.